Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here with another Mod Sauce episode for you guys today. That's right, we are back on Mod Sauce again. This time, we're going to hook up with Dolan, and we're going to make some turbines, and we're going to make some power, because I am burning through power like none other. Let me, let me just show you. So if you look here, um, my capacitor bank is, is pretty packed. I am actually using 11,000 RF per tick. That is not including a quarry that can take an ungodly amount, maybe like 20,000 RF per tick. And this thing, this thing right here is using 8,000 RF per tick by itself. That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy. My entire ME network is using 10,000 RF per tick on its own. The, uh, the thing over here, the, this uh, reactor, it's doing good, but it's only producing about 18,000 RF per tick, where I need much, much more. So I was talking to Dolan, and he said that it was the easy way to kind of do it was turbines. I need more power. So we're going to head to the lab in a minute with Dolan, and we're going to set up some turbines. We're going to make them look cool, and we're going to knock them out real quick. So um, if you have never set up the turbines from Big Reactors, that's my phone. Uh, I'll go ahead and mute that. Um, stick around, and we'll uh, we'll go ahead and we'll cover that. So I'm super excited. I'm crafting up some stuff. We're gonna do some ludicrite blocks inside of there so I can get some BA power. So all right, guys, we're gonna meet up with oh look there he is. We're gonna go meet up with Dolan and we'll be right Hello. back. Hello, how are you doing, sir? I am doing good. That's good. You sound uh, <laughs> sound kind of weird. Microsoft right. saying, yeah, yeah. Oh. All right, what are we doing? we're gonna right build here. some turbines. Oh, that's cool. We're gonna go to the lab, and this place is pretty sweet, I have to say. I think this yeah. is the one. Is it? I think so. Yes, this is the right one. <laughs> Yay! We made it to the right spot. Yay! All right, so. These are the chambers that you built to house the reactors. Si, sí, senor. Or turbines, I mean. Yes. Ooh, my no. magnet. So, yeah, yeah we're only going to do two for right now. And we're going to see how that goes, because I just don't have enough resources for the other ones. This is taking forever to process. Yeah, so you, did you want to put the, the inputs and outputs in, in the back, or what? You th or the bottom? I Don't guess so. It, or what we could do, actually, is we could dig like a little chamber along the side here, kind of thing. You know, like like here. Uh huh. That we can walk down and put stuff, kind of like you know, like in mine, how it's got the the walkway in the back. We can do that. Yeah. Oh hi. It's a creeper. Sorry. Hi. Panicked. Yeah, I couldn't get the freaking thing fast enough. Yeah. Hey. Comes right into the thing. Comes right into what thing? Into the. Oh, the uh, mine shaft. Mine shaft, yeah. 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 Uh. Since you're getting all the smooth stone. Yeah. There got some torches, Mister. I have. Um... Night vision. <laughs> oh man, the torches, crap. I yeah, and then we can, then we can put, we can put stuff along here, and then that that'll work well. Man, I don't have FPS issues until I start recording, and then all of a sudden I get FPS issues. I know I'm getting like twenty two right now. This is I terrible. am too. <laughs> <clears throat> terrible. Although I was getting like a hundred something on uh, vanilla. Ooh. Yeah. While recording. That's pretty buy in. Alright, so you want to share some blocks with me so we can do this? Sure. Um, so, what? We need turbines? Turbine housings, mm -hmm. I mean. Yeah. And then we so just need to, like, frame it out? Yep, so are you, you just want to do this? Do you want to do the whole base here with the solid blocks? Yeah, I don't see why not. Okay. I kind of like that. I like having the base be solid. It just doesn't make sense being glass in my head, you know? Yeah. So it's just one of those things where, like, for me, I like to... Oh, yeah, you can place them inside of yourself, by the way. Clearly. 
it's it's kind of weird. I mean, like, you know. Hmm. It's like, ow, ow. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Ah, and Dolan's gonna die. I don't know. I have 150 health, thank you. I have plenty of it to spare. Yeah, but then you'll just forget that you're in the hole and. <laughs> yeah. Actually, what I'm gonna what I'm gonna die on vanilla of is probably starving to death because I keep forgetting to eat. Yes, I had the same exact problem since I have this freaking backpack. Yeah, yeah. Like any other server I get on, if I if I have to eat something, it's like I'm sitting here going, "Why am I starving?" Or what what am I taking damage from? And then I realize I'm like, "Oh, it's because I'm starving to death." Yeah, it's bad. Yeah. Ooh, block lag is real. Yeah, I wasn't having that like a minute ago, and now all of a sudden it's. Yeah, it's it's gonna be worse because we're recording, but it's still. We got we got, we normally have block lag anyways. Okay, so so some there's glass. some glass, and then you have the. Uh, so I... what I'll do, is I'll just kind of place the glass like this temporarily, and then you can place the thing in the middle. Or I guess it doesn't really matter. You have, the thing. The thing. For the middle. What thing? The middle thing. What thing do you speak of? My, the bearing. Uh, I don't, but I can get one real quick. Yeah, because we'll need two bearings. Bearings, ahoy! Ahoy! There you go, two bearings. Yay! So the bearing is where the shaft goes, right down the middle. Yeah. Uh, what? Oh, I forgot. I'm on, like, nothing. I didn't say anything. What'd you do? Nothing. What'd you do? Filling in all the things. For whatever reason, this reactor glass is a pain in the... Are you serious? When did that show up? I don't know, man. This happens to be, like, every time I'm recording. It's like, hey, server's about to restart. Oh, okay. Well, I Sweet. guess we'll finish this up and then be back when the server comes back. Yep. I'm trapped in a turbine! Oh. All right. So, we have most things put together. You see, we just got, you know, the frame with the glass. We ran a uh, rotor bearing is at the top, and then down through that's the rotor shaft with some of these strangely uncomfortable, ludicrous, ludicrous blocks that look like... Zits. Yeah. That, that's... They look like zits. Pussing zits. Ugh. And I need to put on some rotors. So do they just go like there, yeah, there? Yeah, just like that. Just yep. like so. Yep. Yep. No, and for those who want to see what it looks like when it's been retextured into a much better looking block, come see my video. Yeah, go check out Zo 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 Dolan's video. Oh. Oh, thank you. You consider me equal with Zildjian, apparently. I was about to say Zolan. I don't know where that Zolan. was coming from. I don't know either. That's awkward. Yeah. Zolanmeister. Zolanmeister. Currently, I'm Bulinmeister. Bulinmeister. I guess I should have asked you for some blades, and I could put it on the other one while you're doing this one. Oh. Well. Probably, probably not be a bad idea. Turn off your magnet, though. Yeah. yeah. That's why I keep... My magnet's in my bag. I don't even keep that thing on me anymore because it just always am sucking stuff up. <laughs> I like flying around the world and just getting stuff. Yeah, well, the problem is I've got those stupid, you know, like the chicken coop right there. I've oh, got, that's right, yeah. Yeah, so I'm sucking up all the eggs and thankfully they don't drop the feathers anymore, but when they did, you know, that was just terrible. So the controller can go anywhere on this, right? Yeah, all of it can go anywhere. It doesn't actually matter where it goes. Right. Um, so all the stuffs can go anywhere. I think I'm actually going to put the controllers at the top. No. Do, do I want them at the top? Yeah, and I mean, like I said, you can put it wherever. You should never have to, honestly, ever see it again. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, like, once you get it going, honestly, you'll you'll never turn it off. You don't want to turn these off. Because if you turn them off, they got to spin back up, and that just right. takes forever. Where did my other... Controller go. Oh, that's right. I put it. <laughs> Security place. I'm smart. Yeah. It's down here. It's right. It's right here. 
I think I kind of like the idea of being able to look at them without having to go in the maintenance shaft. Mm -hmm. No, 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 I get you. So we're going to put I, those there. For me, I just, I like the, the clean look, I guess. Yeah. Kind of for, for my setup. But I mean, this this looks fine, too. There's nothing wrong with this. So, nothing wrong with this. <laughs> nothing wrong with this setup. <laughs> so we need power ports. I'll put those on either side. Like so. And then we're going to need fluid ports, which... I don't necessarily want them to touch, so I'll probably put one there and one there, right? No. They're touching. They're touching. What I would do is I'd put the power ports right next to each other, and then the fluid ports will space apart, I guess, if that's the way you want it. Look that up. Because <laughs> um, then, then what, what you can do is you can put the, the Tesseract right next to the... Are you going to do what I did with mine, or are you just going to do two Tesseracts? Um, I'm trying to think. I think I might just do Tesseracts or maybe do uh, the Ender I.O. pipes into the Tesseracts. I don't know yet. Yeah. That way you know you're getting maximum throughput. <clears throat> so once I close these up... Ooh, it formed! Yep. And then you'll want to whack it with a, with a wrench. I can find my keyboard buttons here. A wrench? Uh, so you'll want to... We'll do nope nope we want to convert sorry like that so you'll have these are your outputs and this is your input so output is blue input is red yep okay now we didn't set up anything else yet but we're going to yeah so you have like what like sixty tesseracts you made I have a couple I wouldn't say sixty but I have a couple a handful. I have 10. So I'm going to put these uh, kind of in a central location just for the steam. Okay, so you're not going to just run them right off the turbines? I could. You could. I mean, it. it's up to you. I'm just... I have that many of them. Exactly. So this, the blue is the output or the input? Uh, output. So this will be putting out water. So if I put that there... Mm -hmm. I click on it and I make it uh, owner only. Do channel one, and then this will be steam. Steam. Set frequency. Add frequency, and then configure. I want it to send or receive fluid. Right, just receive fluid. Okay. Yeah, so this will be receiving fluid, and this will be sending fluids. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, receiving fluid. Okay. Very nice. And then the water, we'll go ahead and put those on. Extremely, extremely riveting video right now. Oh, it is. This is the most amazing footage you've ever seen in your life. Oh. So, water, and then we're going to do sending fluid. Mm-hmm. The so water, steam, water, steam. Yeah. Now, these have like a 10 million... RF per tick buffer or something like that, if I recall. Um, yeah, one, two, three. No, one million RF per tick buffer. Okay. So you you can they do have a built-in built-in buffer. Right, just like the reactor does. Yeah, um, and that's why like what I did with mine is I put the the resonant energy cells on one of these, and then I put a tesseract on top, and then I connected the tesseract to the resonant energy cell as well as to the thing that's how i ran mine oh yeah what what is these what are these going to output as far as power do you think uh they'll put out whatever the react or whatever the turbine's putting out so they'll put out ten thousand or twenty thousand rf so the i should be okay with a twenty thousand rf pipe yeah okay it just got really dark <laughs> oh sorry no it's fine i have to come back through and clean this up a little bit but i want one more space Okay. You wanna slap down torture too? 
There you go. Stole my torches. <laughs> Um, I guess for now I will not hook up the power. We'll come back and hook up the power. Yeah, we can figure that out how you want to do that later. Um, honestly, the the ones from Ender IO actually, I guess, don't have very high output through them. They don't seem to be, at least. My the the ones I have are a max of twenty thousand RF per tick. Not those. The 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 other things. Man, those things look so big in your in your hand. Yeah, but they're so small in the world. I know. It's like they just look massive, though. <laughs> comments um, alright so <laughs> these are good now we need to go modify the reactor that I have yeah so let's go do that it's like a maze trying to get out of here I don't know if I like that teleport or the uh, elevator system that I have I might have to change that up it's interesting so right now I have two power ports where I probably need to have two water or fluid ports right right you'll have one that's an input one that's an output So I need to go to Actually, my reactor. Coolant port, I guess is what it's called. Yes. So and I'm going to flip off your reactor. Okay. You have a good power buffer, right? Uh, yeah, I got 140 million RF. Okay, good. So you got plenty of power. It's to spare. What I'll do is you want to make... Uh... Oh, that's cool. Just one coolant yeah. port or two coolant ports? Two. Two coolant ports. Yes. Alright, so I got those. And we'll we'll switch these up. Can I just break this? Yeah, you want to put it in quickly though. Okay, you break it, I will place it. That Enderium will screw us up. It's gone. I got it. Uh, and then same thing, we have output input. Okay. And then I guess I'll put some water down here just for the time being. Oops. Just, all right. Well, what you can do is you can just throw the like, like toss the tesseract like right here in the ground. And yeah. did you make some of those those pipes? Oops, sorry. I did. Ouch. Well, so what I do is I just put the Tesseract, like, right here, one of them, put the other one, like, right here, mm -hmm. like, in the hole in the ground, and then take one of those Tesseracts and put it somewhere else, and then just pump water into it as well. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Then you just need two Tesseracts, and I need the two ports. So this one will be our water, correct? Yep. Oh, I was thinking just put it in the hole in the ground, and then run the pipe into it, because it would look cooler. Yeah. You can do whatever you want. I mean, it's your base. That's what I was thinking. It's my base, and I'll do what I want to. What? <laughs> do what I want to. Do what I want to. So this will be receiving water. Yep. And then uh, you made the fluid transfer node, right? Node. Yes, I did. Retrieval node. Do you have it on you? I do. All right, sorry. Oh, no, you're fine. Uh, Here you want? I, yeah, I was gonna set that up real quick. I'll just. You want me to set it up underneath the reactor? Yeah, you can set it up wherever. Put it underneath the reactor. Gotta find some water real quick. I got buckets here too. I got buckets in my inventory. I just need to find water. I, I got the buckets of water already. Well, I'm already halfway there getting water <laughs> from like the other side of your base. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> There's already so much stuff. Uh, Yeah, so I normally steam. carry like 20 buckets of inventory like at all times. So this is sending steam, so that's good. Do you want the upgrades and everything? In a minute. They're just sitting on the ground. Are they? Oh, okay. Well, I got five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta uh, give me one of your, your tesseracts to their chief. Oh. Um, I mean, I won't. I can't set it up, obviously, but I'll at least set it down there. Well, I was here. Come here. Set it up down here and just run it into the bottom of the tesseract. Will that work? I don't know why not. I don't think so because it's not receiving. Oh so have shitters! It. Yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, but I'll set it up right here, anyways. This is a good little hidden spot, little hidden valley. Ranch. The only kind of ranch there ever is. 
I guess I could put the. Well, no. I, I guess I could put this on send and receive, couldn't I? No, I don't know that if that'll work, work, though. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I, I mean, I've never tried it, so it might They're work. They're not I, I... sided like that, unfortunately. Get out of the hole. But yeah, you should be able to just, like, slap the Tesseract, like, right here. Eh. 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 I mean, that is absolutely retarded and ridiculous, but... Hey, I have plenty of Tesseracts, right? Exactly. <laughs> For, like, three feet. <laughs> uh, that's fantastic. Hey, look, it's filling up. Yay. Oh, the turbine's apparently on. Is it? Yeah. That's no bueno. And it's sending steam. All right, well, apparently when you when we put everything back together, it turned on again. Uh, here we go. Go down and check. So what's it's going full on. steam, full of water. Yep. This fuel reactivity is that is that good? Is it'll it... It, it'll change once it starts using steam. Okay, so let's go down there real quick. To the lab. <laughs> to the lab. To the lab. Everything you own in a box to the lab. Ooh, it's spinning. <laughs> Ooh, it's spinning really fast. Yeah, the the coils are disengaged. <clears throat> what does that mean? It means that we'll need to re-engage the coils once they hit about 18,000. So keep your eye on that rotor speed. Uh-huh. When that hits about 18, sorry, 1,800, uh, go ahead and disengage the, or engage the coils and start generating power. I just fell into this block. Am I standing in the side of this? Yes. Okay. <laughs> huh. Apparently that's, that's a thing. Interesting. Hmm. All right. So at the moment, they're not generating any power. Correct. They are okay. just spinning up. Well, that's a horrible thing. A what? spider riding a creeper. Uh, yeah, that is that is a thing. Um, uh, very, very scary thing that does happen. I, I don't want to deal with that in my life. <laughs> right? You thought spider jockeys were bad enough. You ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen nothing yet. Alright, so this is getting close. Yeah, I love the way these look, even. Like, these are just the coolest things. Wooly, I think, is using these on his base. Yeah, with that super badass spaceship. Or, uh, yeah, but he's, he's using them for, like, as engines. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> nice. First one is engaged, and it'll slow back down to the correct speeds. This next one's close. It's so close. It seems to be keeping up with steam. All right, so. Yeah, so the, the energy buffer, like, instantly fills, by the way. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Like, I activate the thing, it's just like... Burr. You're an Enderman. You hear an Enderman? You're a man. Oh, oh stuff, stuff will spawn inside the turbines, by the way. Like an Enderman. No, shit. Oh, look at that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, funny. I was wondering where he was. I kept hearing him, and I was like, I hear him, but I don't see him anywhere. Alright, so these are sending power. Why is this losing so much speed? It shouldn't be losing this much speed. Oh, you broke it, didn't you? No, it's like... All right, like so this one's still going up. This one's going down. Give it a minute to stabilize. It might just might be once this one powers up, it should stabilize with the rest of the network. So why are they only getting two thousand millibuckets of steam? Are they just running through that much, or? Yeah, that's what they're supposed to be set at. Like that's the max it can actually take. Okay. And so... do we have any idea how much steam I'm making? Uh, it should say in the reactor. Okay. So if we go over Nyang, it is making uh, 4,000 millibuckets of steam. 
Okay, so it is it is actually making four thousand, which is what it should be making. So that's good. Uh, so how now, would I run you, more turbines on this if that's all it's making? Well, that's because that's how much it's asking for. It's oh, not, it's just it's topped know. out at what it's asking for. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a supply and demand system. Like if you look at mine, mine says eight thousand, because that's how much I'm pumping into everything. So, but that means that it is efficiently keeping up with everything. What you're pumping into it. Nice. Yeah, which means we could probably add two more with that without much of an issue. Well, I've run through about half of my power, so I probably should hook up those power lines now. Oh, uh, I think I just figured out why everything's acting wonky. Because you still have the redstone thing on here. Oh, yeah, you can take it off. Okay. We'll uh, pull that off. So this oh, one is taking in power. This one's going power out. That's why your reactor was on. Ah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. That explains it. So I was really confused too why it just like magically was like on all of a sudden. It was like, what's going on, guys? So what's now this on? should be receiving energy. Oh, you hooked up your test racks? Yeah, I think uh, I think we should be set. Let's go look at my capacitor bank. And we are gaining power. Look at that. Yeah, yeah. So I know Tesseracts have a energy loss, which, I mean, it's probably going to be minimal to the amount that we're making. Yeah, uh, I think it's a percentage. I don't remember exactly. Yeah. But another problem is these pipes I have only do so much as well so I probably need to put the tesseract on the uh, capacitor bank instead of on the line that would probably be smart probably you mean the energy conduits yeah instead of on the energy conduits okay so that should have held oh, all oh. its resources Oh, did you just hook it up? Yeah. Yeah, I can tell because this one energy buffer just started draining. Why is this thing is not... Why are you losing speed? What the heck? Eating fluid. Sending fluid. All right. So, um, according to this, the average input is 3,000 RF per tick. What? For what? My my system. Oh, you didn't put all the blades in. Yes, I did. No, you didn't. This has only got 32 blades in it, you derp. I put... Uh, no wonder I have eight blades still. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> I was wondering why this wasn't generating power properly. I'm like, what is going on here? It's because... I am a derp. Uh, gotcha. Uh-oh. What? I locked myself in. Oh. I wonder what happens if you go in there and it's, like, on. Nothing. It doesn't do anything. It's really disappointing. Oh. I was hoping to, like, chop you into little pieces. I know, me too. That's really morbid. It's, I know, but it still sort of seems like it'd be fun. All right, well there. Now this thing should be generating the correct amount of power. I was really confused. I was like, why is it being so weird with the, like it was losing speed? I'm like, I have this exact same setup like right next to it here and four of them at my base and I'm generating a crap ton of power and I'm like, it's not doing that here. I broke it. Now, I saw you do it, too. I saw you not put them on, and I meant to say something, but I thought you just were going to come back and do it or something. So nope. I didn't bother. <laughs> Apparently, you just, you just gave them to me. Decided to not do it. Yep. All right, well, once once this thing gets back up to full speed, we'll be making power. Power. Cool. Well. I don't understand why it's only saying my average input is 3,000 RF per tick, but my output is 11,000 RF per tick. Right now? Yeah. 
on what the Ender IO stuffs. Yeah. Cool. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know a lot about Ender IO. I know that it was like the bomb back in the day before you know with the 1.6 stuff. Right. It was the one that everyone was like, Ender IO is the best, and I was like, okay. Um, but I haven't really messed with it a lot, unfortunately. I don't really know. Because what are what are the turbines creating as far as power is concerned? Twenty thousand, right? Uh, yeah, like twenty twenty one thousand, ish. Okay. Like it's twenty twenty thousand nine hundred twenty three RF per take, which is like twenty one. I round up. Maybe this is just borked for a second. Could be. All right, I'm about to engage the second rotor here in a moment. Coming. Well, I've already engaged it once. I'm just about to engage the coils. Boop. Okay. There go. Cool. But you see here on the left where it says 75% efficiency. If you hover over, it says 40 of 80. Uh, 40. Yeah, 40 of 80 blades. Yeah, you had... Because technically, we're pumping enough... Holy crap, look at working. that energy buffer. <laughs> I told you, man. I need more power things. I told you. And you can huh. still you still have space for two more, and you could keep expanding this and probably put at least, I'd say almost four more, if not even more than that, on what you have right now. Yeah. Yeah. Gosh, I, I don't think there's anything in the game that transfers that much power. Tesseract, I think Tesseract will. Tesseract I'd probably need to put each one of these turbines on their own network. Network. Yeah, right. Because I know te Tesseracts have a limit. I just don't know what that limit is. Well... Who was it? Was it King Daddy? I think was saying that they don't anymore. But I don't know. I haven't had. It. I don't know how to to test that or check that. Other than looking at the code. Um. Let's look here real quick. I'm gonna cheat for a second. Mm-hmm. Huh. Um, what? I don't see, I don't see what I'm looking for. But yeah, you've pretty much balanced out with, with the first two. So at this point, this is, uh, this is your power. Yeah. You so from just by building two machines, we've doubled my power output. And could possibly quadruple it or six or sextuple it. Yep. That's crazy. Dude, I'm telling you, turbines, they're the coolest thing in the world. This the mod only... is like the coolest thing in the world. Oh yeah. The only downside to the to this is that you can't really turn it off. Um so it means you're constantly using fuel. But like if you look at you know, where it says how heavily irate <clears throat> what's the word? Um reactivity? Yeah, the reactivity, how heavily um, irradiated the core is. Like, mine right now is at, like, 450%. So I'm burning up, like, 0.18 buckets of fuel, you know, per tick wow. kind of thing. So, like, you're at 0.29 millibuckets. Right. Once you get Once you get to four, that'll drop. And if you can if you can try six and get a sixth one on there, then it'll even drop more. Hmm. <coughs> so this... This is... Capped, like it's not going in or down. Yeah, that's weird. What's up with that? Well, like you said, it might just be being glitchy. No, that's why it was fully charged. Oh yeah. Yeah, I just reset the stupid thing. Oh, it's draining. What the heck? What is draining your power? I'm adjusting something. Okay. Do you have any of the hyper transfer nodes? I have one. You might want to hook this test wrap with a hyper transfer node instead of the. Um... Oh, you've got it directly on it too. I've got also the other things. Yeah, I mean it. It should be moving the power. It's full. I mean, it's not doing oh, anything. Oh no, it is. Yeah, it, it was draining a second ago. Weird. That's because I, I changed the outputs to inputs oh, on okay. accident. Well, there you go. So, yeah. 
sweet. I can't get over this. The hyper uh, transfer nodes. What? How much power do they tra transfer? Uh, a lot. I don't remember what the exact number is. I know that they're pretty crazy. Transfer nodes. That's energy. It doesn't say how much. Oh well. Well, man, I appreciate the help. Yeah. I'm glad this is crazy. Help. This is crazy amounts of power. Yeah, you've got more than enough now for sure. You can you can keep adding on those turbines as you need them and should uh, should help speed or make give you lots and lots of power. And now my viewers got to see uh, see a turbine get set up since I didn't show it on my video at all. I just kind of did it off camera because I was bored one night and I was like, I should set one up. <laughs> yeah. All and right. I went a little little crazy. You can set four of them up. Yeah, let's go real quick. We'll run over to your base and check out your... Uh... Oh, I'm stuck yeah. on a cable. Uh oh Yeah, you can <laughs> see my setup compared to yours. Yeah. So he was, for the longest time, for my people that don't know... Oh, we have this thing. Yeah, keep we... it in here, though. Um, for my people that don't know, he was running off factorization for a long time, and oh, he was I'm all making fun it. of him. I'm still rocking the factorization. I still love it. But look at that. Look at that. I'm beautiful. Yeah. Do you think the uh, Enderium is better than the Blazing Pyrothium, or Blazing Pyrothium better than Enderium? Um, I don't actually know. Uh, in my brain, I did it because, I, you know, to make the reactor hotter, to make more steam. I don't know if that's accurate or not. Yeah. So it seems to be fine. I mean, for the most part, it's it's a decent setup. It's definitely better than some of the other liquids, but it's probably on par with, with uh, Enderium. I got a bunch of gelid cryothium that I thought about making and putting in there, but... Yeah, but remember, you gelid cryothium, you can't have any flowing. Like, it has to be... Right. I need a lot of it. Yeah, with your reactor, you need a lot. Alright. Well, thanks again, man. I will talk to you later. Yeah, absolutely. You're very welcome. Bye. Bye. Get in here.